Hey guys, Break here, and welcome back to another mailbox opening. And in this week's episode, we're going to be opening up the mail whilst talking about this crazy gold making week that's been happening, how so many people are making so much gold, and how you really don't want to miss out on it. But yes, the basic idea around this week is that the Mage Tower is out. Everyone's trying to do the Mage Tower because it is pre patch next patch. So in Tuesday, if you're on the US, or Wednesday, if you're on the EU, the new pre-patch is coming out with all the new stuff that's Battle for Azeroth related. And along with that, certain items are being removed. And that includes the Mage Tower appearances. So there's loads of people trying to do the Mage Tower, trying to get those appearances. And when they do the Mage Tower, they need gear. They need to go on one of their alts that has no gear and buy gear, basically, because they can't be bothered to farm. They can't be bothered to do dungeons, do world quests, whatever. So people are buying a ton of gear. Look here. I've just sold a random 850 bit of leather gear, I think, or mail, for 17k. I've had that for ages, by the way, guys. I haven't crafted in literally months, so all of this stuff is just stuff I had for ages. I just randomly post. Don't undercut or anything. This is just a random character. But yeah, made 50k on this guy just from random stuff I've had for ages. People are buying random stuff this week, guys. And as you're going to see in this mailbox opening, I've made some ridiculous gold this week selling uh, raid gear, 110 raid gear. And also some other stuff, but people are going crazy for that gear because they really want to gear up their characters quick to do the Mage Tower and get those appearances. And because of that, guys, I think more and more people are also coming back to the game because I've been selling loads of general stuff as well this week. I've sold way more pets than I usually do. I've just sold loads of stuff. I mean, right now, if we look here, someone just bought one of my Thistle Leaf Adventurers. That's an easy 90k. Now, these guys are selling because they're a classic legion pet and a lot of people are trying to buy them up ready for battle for azeroth because they think hey i can buy them now and make a nice profit from them and that is actually true to be fair if you have the gold you should look for some cheap ones of these to start trying to save because their price is definitely going to rise in battle for azeroth but considering this usually goes for about 50k on my server or 60k usually about 50 it's real nice to sell it for 90 and we can add that 90 to whatever is in our mail which is 780 and as you can see it's almost all raid gear that's brought in the profits we did sell a lovebird which we bought for like 50k before but it's pretty much all the raid gear a few leggings and a load of wrist guards and just everything really as long as a few pets as well along with a few pets so really really nice profits this week and adding all that together that's just on one server my main server we've made about 900k this week and that's kind of crazy considering I've hardly been playing at all really in terms of the gold making. I've been doing a few beta things but not much gold making on live so that's just for reposting auctions we've made 900k. But anyway guys as we open up the rest of our servers I just want to kind of go through what you guys could be doing the next few days to try and make some gold and really don't miss out. But the main thing I suggest you do is flipping some raid gear so if you do have trade skill master you can just type this into the search bar and it's going to come up with all the decent raid gear and just search and see if there's any that's cheap for your server or just cheap compared to the region average and if it is i would just buy it up and try and resell it for around about the region average or just above the region average and you're almost certainly going to sell at least until pre-patch and i reckon even after pre-patch there's going to be a few people still buying it mostly because there's so many people who are going to come back to the game for pre-patch and maybe they haven't played in ages and that means that their gear is going to suck and maybe they want to try and get geared to try and get some of the mounts before they get removed from the game in Battle for Azeroth. Because when pre-patch hits, the, mat the mounts don't go down to 1%, as a lot of people think. That actually happens when Battle for Azeroth goes live, so there's still a chance to get those mounts and stuff. Whether you'll be able to get the heroic mount, I'm not certain, but maybe you will, maybe you won't. But in terms of the mythic mounts, for sure you'll still be able to get those. People will want to gear up their alts quickly, and it's going to be a great way to do it, flipping this gear. Uh, there's no real good deals on this server, unfortunately. But anyway, we have made ourselves a tasty 300,000 gold pretty much on this server. Again, guys, loads of pets, and a lot of people are buying pets, especially the Legion pets, as I was saying. Both these pets here are, well, in fact, all of these pets here, apart from the Lovebird Hatchling, uh, they're all, these three at least, are all legion pets, pets that are likely going to go up in price in Battle for Azeroth, and that means lots of people are going to be buying them this week. 
So what do you want to do? Do you want to be someone who buys them up cheap and saves them? That's a great tactic. Or do you want to be someone who buys them cheap and then sells them again for more expensive whilst everyone's buying them? Either tactic works. I'm doing a bit of both. I'm going to try and save some up to sell during BFA, but I'm also going to be selling them right now because people are paying overpriced for them and it's really nice. Anyway, those are the two main things that I've been doing this week. That is selling raid gear for people who want to do the Mage Tower challenges and selling pets, especially the Legion pets that people are buying up and stockpiling for Battle for Azeroth so they can try and sell it for more. That's what I've been doing as we get another 400k on this server. And that's not the only thing that you should be doing, guys. There's loads of stuff. As we saw from the very first character, you can still sell the 850 gear. People are still using that to gear up. You can still sell all the stuff used for the mage tower, stuff like food, feasts, stuff like drums, and even potions and stuff. They haven't really been very good for a while, but people are buying a lot of stuff this week just to get those mage tower appearances. In fact, I still need to get my tank and feral ones for my druid. Don't know if I can be bothered, but maybe I will because the tank one is pretty cool, I guess. But like I say, guys, I really don't think this gold making train is going to stop when the pre-patch hits on Tuesday and Wednesday. I think it's going to continue for at least another couple of weeks because you'd be surprised how many people gear up their characters just for leveling. Loads of people will be like, right, I want to get prepared for the new expansion. I've got to level up. I want to level quickly, so let's get myself some gear. I know that sounds silly to some of you, but a lot of people do do that as we just get 750k on this guy. Very strange, I actually sold two Widget the Departed this week and a Feline Familiar. Do you guys remember at the Halloween event when I told you all to buy up these pets and we were buying them for like 20, 30k? We sold them for 100k each twice this week on this server, which is ridiculous. Feline Familiar for 47, which isn't great, but it's still a big profit on what we were buying them before a few months ago. And yeah, again, Ashley Spriteling, a few Legion pets, and obviously the gear. But we're selling loads of stuff on this server again someone has bid on my thistle leaf adventure actually not the best price really i might cancel this or i might not i'll see how i'm feeling but yeah loads of people are buying those pets so if you have any of them or if you do see them cheap make sure you buy them out and you can resell them because people are buying them crazy this week as we get another 300k and again that's mostly just pets and a boe but very nice and again, on this server, it's just the raid gear this time, but still 550k, pretty much all just wrists. As we know, the wrists sell the best out of any raid gear because they're not a tier set or anything. But we also sold a nice 150k Grothy breastplate, so that's good. But as I say, I really think you guys have at least two weeks left of serious gold making because then there'll only be two weeks left of the expansion. It might slow down a bit, it might not but definitely at least two weeks left of the serious gold making. So don't start freaking out that you're not going to be able to sell raid gear or you're not going to be able to sell a certain item. Just keep on doing it because I really don't want you guys to miss out on this gold train that's been happening. As I say, after pre-patch, there's going to be so many changes, which means a lot of people often want to try new classes to try out the new changes. People want to try out the new honor system, whatever. They want to try all new stuff. The artifacts are changing, all of that. People are going to want to try all their different alts and leveling up all their alts ready for the new expansion. There's going to be so many opportunities for gold making. So we get another 200k on this server. And there's going to be so many chances for you to make an absolute killing. And let's be honest guys, it's the last week that stuff like Blood of Sargeras is probably going to be that useful and all that good stuff. So i just get using your Blood of Sargeras if you've got a load of spare Blood of Sargeras. Why don't you craft a load of things, craft a load of 850 gear, people are buying it. Craft a load of, I don't know, potion of prolonged power, people are buying those. That kind of stuff. Just make sure you actually use up, you know, pet charms as well. For those of you who don't know, pet charms are kind of changing in the pre-patch. So before Tuesday, Wednesday, I'd probably spend your pet charms on different toys and different pets. Because it's going to be less useful, the pet charms, because they're introducing a new version. So... That's what I've been doing, the spare pet charms I had. I just bought a load of toys that sell for like 10k each on my server. And they sell quite well, so I've been making some gold with that as well. And here we are, another pretty much 400k. Nothing too crazy, but again, the wrists for cloth and for leather, I believe that is. I've been selling really good. So we go on our other server, and we've got another 200k. Again, 
mostly just pets and BOEs, nothing too special. Now on this server I accidentally opened up the mail, I did it last time as well and I did it this time, very annoying. So a few days ago I actually accidentally opened and it was over 300k as you can see there so we will add that to the total but we did get something like just over 300 plus 1.2 million so overall that is 1.5 million gold on this server this week which is pretty ridiculous some big boe sales big big risk sales over 200k and 500k for some leggings so guys don't tell me that leggings don't sell because they obviously do now to be fair these were 980 legs and i could maybe have sold them for a bit more but i did buy them for 300k literally a week ago so i thought might as well sell them for 500 as the expansion is running down the one thing i'd be careful of guys is the super super expensive gear in the next few days because whilst people are willing to gear up alts with some all right gear I don't think anyone's willing to spend crazy amounts like the millions of gold that they were before. To be fair, on Twitter, I have seen people buying that stuff still, so maybe I'm wrong, but I would be careful by buying something for like 500k. Like if these were 500k, maybe you know a few months ago, I might have bought, bought them for 500k and tried to resell them for 800k or 900k. But uh, I would never do that now, but because they were 300k, I thought it was pretty much guaranteed gold and I went for it. But I would be careful, guys. Don't try and sell anything ridiculous ridiculous gold this time because we are running out of time till the new expansion launches and i don't want you guys to you know run out of gold and run out of time to sell your items so do be a bit careful but don't be too cautious i've seen so many people just say oh no the expansion's around the corner no one's going to be buying this no one's going to be buying that and then this week for almost every gold maker has been the best week in months 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 so please don't miss out guys don't be too cautious be a bit sensible but Keep on investing, keep on crafting, keep on farming, whatever you like to do, because things are selling a ridiculous quantity this week. So on this server, we have a rather modest, just 100k. But again, look at that Thistle Leaf Adventurer. They're selling everywhere. Don't forget about this one, guys. And last up, but by no means least, is a Bikini Girl. And what do we have on this server? Let's wait for things to load, because I have no idea. It's taking a while. Oh look, there we go, 735k, so really, really nice again. And what do we have? BOE gear, BOE gear, pet, pet, BOE gear, pet, BOE gear, transmog, pet, and two BOE gears. Uh, all sorts of stuff, not just wrists, like on some servers, I've been selling everything this week. So a very nice bit of profit there. Anyway, totaling all that up and my gold for this week, it's been about eight days actually. Uh, 6.3 million gold so that's really nice probably about 4 million of that is profit at least 3 million but probably about 4 million profit in the past sort of eight days so rather than 300k a day we're making more like 500k a day so my profits have almost doubled this week don't know about you guys do let me know what you've been selling but it's been a bit of a crazy week and it's really not going to stop particularly these next few days up until pre-patch is going to be crazy but like i say even after pre-patch so many new players coming back so many people leveling their ults so many people gearing their ults so many people trying out new specs it's going to continue for the next few weeks and i do hope you guys make the most of it don't sort of be too cautious thinking oh it's not going to sell take a few risks you have to take a few risks with gold making and i'm sure you won't be disappointed and definitely look out for that Thistle Leaf Adventurer and all the other Legion pets because they've been selling so well. And if you can find them cheap, then definitely snap them up. It's going to be a bargain. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, see ya.